Good morning guys, happy Monday. So this week I've got a lot of planning and preparation to do for a market stall that I'm doing on Saturday at the Coburg Wellness Market. So I'm pretty much just running around trying to get stuff, trying to get everything organized for that. I've never really done a market stall before since I became, you know, a professional artist. So I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm a little bit apprehensive as to elements that are outside my control, like whether or not it's gonna rain or whether whether or not anyone is actually going to come to this market. So today, what I'm going to be doing is preparing a board. I need to get a coat of gesso on it because I wanna do a live demonstration of a painting for the whole market. I'm gonna be sitting there all day. I may as well be doing a painting so that people can see what the process looks like and stand there and watch me if they want to. So my friend has kindly donated me this big board <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, just a cheap, thin MDF that they painted on. So I'm just gonna be gessoing over what they did and using that as a demonstration painting. All right, I got the first layer of gesso onto this board. It did have quite a lot of texture on it from the previous artwork by Sam. Thank you, Sam. But it's come up pretty well, considering I'm just gonna be doing a demonstration on it. I'm not intending on selling it because it's very, very low quality, sort of coated MDF of some sort. I think it will be the perfect size to do a nice big painting demo at the market. And lastly, I want to create some signage for this market. So I need to print out price sheets, labels, you know, a sign that says, hey, up by Missy, here I am, buy art from me. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So my studio is an absolute mess at the moment. Uh, it looks like a bomb hit it. <laughs> Preparing for this market on Saturday and shipping out all the orders for the prints um, yeah, there's just kind of stuff everywhere. I'm just heading out of the studio today to catch up with my friend Amy. We're heading to this really amazing looking cafe called The Glass Den and it looks very visually beautiful. So I'll take you guys along and show you what we have to eat. We've come down to Coburg Lake after our glass den visit, which was delicious, was it not? Oh, very much so. Freaking delicious. And yeah, I haven't been to Coburg Lake in years and it's absolutely beautiful. So we're just gonna have a bit of a walk around. I can't really see the shape of this bench, but it's almost like a deck chair in that it has like angles. Yes. And it's freezing cold and it was sunny, but now the sun's gone away. But it's absolutely beautiful here and we're very much enjoying just being in nature and trying to rug up. <laughs> this is a good look, right? Okay, so next up on today's to-do list is getting pretty much getting everything for the market stall finished off because <laughs> I'm going to be working for the rest of the week and I won't really have time between now and Saturday to just get everything done so I'm just about to go in and buy some bits and pieces mostly some little frames for some of my mini prints I don't really like to sell mini prints without being framed because they're quite small and odd sized so I like to get them all locked into the perfect frame and then offer them plus they look good at market stall when they're all in frames and buying a few extra bits and pieces and then I need to go to the printer and get some just posters and price lists um, all printed out for the market so yeah let's hop to it 
Okay, so I've just gotten back from my shopping expedition. I spent a little bit more than what I had intended just on like framing and, you know, display items for my market stall, which now I'm a little bit anxious about how much I have left to do to prepare for this market stall. I've never really done one before. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell a single thing. So if I get excited about something, then I wanna do it right. And I wanna do this market stall right, even though I have no clue the level of success. Like I might sell not a single thing. So I've spent all this time and money preparing for it. And you know what? <sighs> I just have to allow myself the space to fail at this. I can do the best that I could absolutely do, but if nobody comes <laughs> to the market um, and if nobody wants to buy anything, then it's a learning experience and I'll move forward with that. So I'm trying not to completely freak myself out. I'm just gonna do it. I should enjoy it. This is all fun stuff. This is no pressure. And But I just found today that I was just building up and creating all this pressure, which is unnecessary. So anyway, Clayton is recording in his studio upstairs at the moment and he doesn't really like it when I make <laughs> any noise when he's recording so I've actually just grabbed all of my shit from my studio brought it downstairs into the kitchen which is the least photogenic room of the house, which is why I don't really do that much down here that needs to be filmed. So you'll have to excuse the poor lighting and aesthetic choices. <laughs> anyway, I've got so much stuff to get done this evening. I'm gonna put some music on, I'm gonna have fun. I'll film a time lapse for you guys so you can see all the stuff that I get up to and I'm just gonna have a productive evening and try not to completely freak myself out. <laughs> 